So hi guys, this is Chidan Patel back again, and today I am going to talk to you about uh, the misconception that uh, trading is gambling. The misconception that uh, uh, you know, whenever you are putting your money into the stock market, it is a gamble. Uh, well, uh, it is not a gamble at all. In fact, uh, uh, you will be surprised to know that there is a lot of education which is uh, available into uh, uh, trading or, or investing and. Uh, it's a very serious level education in the sense that you can actually do a charter into charting uh, and trading. You could also be doing uh, a PhD into this subject. So there is a lot of education really with there. It's a very deep subject. Uh, it is a subject which is based on psychology. It is a subject which is based on mass psychology. So there is a lot of uh, uh, there is a lot of studies. There is a lot of reading. There is a lot of hard work involved into trading and uh, and making money. And it can get very very accurate as you get a little bit more skilled. The reason why most of the people cannot make money into the stock market is because it is a skill based business. Yeah, and uh, to develop your skill takes a little bit of time. And a lot many people are not ready to give that amount of time uh, in order to develop their skills. Uh, so. Uh, it's a very simple correlation uh, your skill is going to make money for you and most of the people do not want to develop their skills so you you really cannot learn how to trade into the market or invest into the market in one days two days or five days or ten days it takes a longer time and most of the people are not ready to give it longer time because most people are not knowing that there is education and very structured education which is provided yeah now having said that uh, i have been asked a question as to what uh, is uh, that you really achieve when you are reading the chart see when you are reading the chart really you are not trying to predict the market because you really cannot predict uh, the market uh, markets are very random markets are extremely random uh, they can swing either ways so you cannot uh, predict the markets in fact you cannot predict anything in your life uh, but what you can however do is you can increase your probability and say that the probability and the chances uh, uh, of market going up and going down uh, are higher which means I could say that I could not tell you very accurately as to market is going to go to 9000 but I could say to you looking at the charts and the way the charts are um, uh, unfolding uh, that uh, there are 70% chances that the markets may go down the probability of the markets going up is much higher than probability of markets going down the propensity of the markets to move, move up is much higher you can say that so you can basically look at uh, the markets uh, from the term, uh, ter terms of probability chances propensity and percentiles I could say and I could have that uh, in my trading plan saying that I have 80% chances that the markets might go up and hence there is a 20% chance that the markets might go down or could go sideways and if that is the probability then uh, my plan is going to be built around that particular premise yeah so uh, trading is uh, trading or uh, investing into the stock market is really not gambling but more about increasing your chances and your probability to give you an example like for example uh, if there is a, a game of cricket match going on yeah and if Sachin Tendulkar comes on the pitch to play now you can't really accurately say that he's going to make 100 out of 100 or he's going to make a double century but you can accurately say that uh, he if he is going to be an opening batsman then the chances of his scoring runs is about 80 percent out of 100 percent that uh, because he's a good player because he is very skilled the chances are about 80 out of 100 percent that he would make about 50 plus there are chances about 50 out of 50 that he would make 100 plus the chances are 20 out of 100 that he would make about 200 plus so you always talk about probability propensity and chances uh, you could also say that uh, it looks like Sachin Tendulkar is not in form right now at this point of time and hence the propensity for him uh, to give you an extremely good run rate is lower so similarly from the stock market perspective you always talk in terms of probability propensity and uh, what can happen into the stock market and hence it is not a gamble at all